Welcome. My name is James McNeil. You're here at MentalMMA.com. Want to talk about predictions for UFC 109 Relentless. That is Couture versus Coleman, and I want to talk about that fight first. So let's talk about it. I want to talk about the mental game, the emotional side of of mixed martial arts. And so I'm going to talk about not only the dynamics, some questions that you might want to ask yourself, things you want to know about the fight, and then a prediction. I'm going to talk about who's going to get what. In fact, I'm predicting a knockout. So let's talk about it. So um, Mark Coleman and Randy Couture. Let's start with this. First of all, I just want to say that I met both of these gentlemen. I was down in, in uh, Vegas not too long ago, met Mark Coleman, and I met Randy Couture. Randy Couture, calm, confident, um, totally together, very nice guy, love it, autographed Affliction t-shirt. Met Mark Coleman. Mark Coleman, on the other hand, a little bit hesitant, tried to speak with him for a while, seems a little bit shy, a little bit on the, what are you up to, who are you, are you being mean to me, are you making fun of me, who are you? And a little bit of a, of a hesitancy on the side of Mark Coleman. Both wonderful men, really quite an honor to meet both of them. Have some things to, to say to you that might shock you. So here we go. First of all, the motivation factor goes to Mark Coleman. Mark Coleman has a, uh, not a chip on his shoulder as in a beef with uh, Randy Couture, but um, he's the guy, he was the champ when he was the first heavyweight in the UFC. He was the champ when Randy Couture came along. He was the famous guy. He was the, he was the master, the godfather of ground and pound. Randy Couture invented a career uh, using a lot of the ground and pound. I'm not saying he learned everything he, he's done from Mark Coleman, but, but that's one of the things that he did learn. Mark Coleman and Randy Couture have fought in the past. Mark Coleman won that fight. He uh, beat Randy Couture on points in a wrestling match, and that was a freestyle wrestling match. Randy Couture, in a recent interview, said, well, that's because I was focused on Roman Greco, not on freestyle, and so that's something in their past. Mark Coleman's looking at that and says, wait, I beat the guy, I was the star first, and uh, now where are we? Now people think of me as the old guy. Mark Coleman is thinking, and Mark Coleman's actually one year younger than Randy Couture. Both of them are just a little bit older than me, 45 and 46. And so, uh, yeah, so Mark Coleman is considered the older guy, and he's in fact younger. He's considered the guy who's done, and he's not famous, he's not popular, he's not as loved, and he certainly hasn't turned uh, the business kind of success that Randy Couture has. So he's got, he's got a desperation, he's got a need, he wants the respect, he wants um, the hearts and the minds of, of the American viewers, North American viewers, and the world, actually. Actually. Um, also, a little bit of an interesting thing. In the past, he fought uh, Fedor Emelianenko, and Randy Couture never had that opportunity. So Mark Coleman feels like, boy, I've accomplished all this, I've done all this. Now, he didn't win the fight with Fedor, but uh, he feels like, boy, I've done all this, I've accomplished all this, and, and I'm, not, uh, I'm not considered um, a very successful, very much of a threat uh, fighter. So I believe he's got the motivation, big time motivation, and I believe Randy Couture has the confidence. So the edge of motivation goes to Mark Coleman. The edge of confidence goes to Randy Couture. The question is, is it too much? And I think it is. So look at this. On the UFC website, this is live. This is connected right now. Let me just scroll down here. Now, I, I'm guessing you can't zoom in on this, but it says uh, this is the, the polling. So people are polling. They're, they're saying, I believe this person is going to win. Right now, it's 93% Randy Couture and only 7% Mark Coleman. So 93% of people answering that poll are saying Randy Couture is going to win. That's a problem. Whenever we see stats that are so far out of whack, if the fighter who has the high predicted win, the, the favorite, if he catches wind and I'm... I'm I'm wondering how he could keep it out of his ears, but people are going to be whispering in his ear, this is easy, you're going to win this, you're going to win this. 93% of the people say he's going to win it. That's dangerous. That could give him overconfidence. I don't believe it will shatter the confidence of Mark Coleman. I think it's just going to motivate him. He's desperate. He's hungry. He's going to swing for the fences. I think Mark Coleman's going to come at this with everything he's got. So here's my prediction of how it's going to go. Randy Couture is going to try and demonstrate to Mark Coleman, look, I can beat you at wrestling, specifically Roman Greco. We didn't do that last time. This time we are. I believe he has a, um, wants to show him he can do that. Also, he's demonstrated he's refocused on his Roman Greco wrestling and his Brandon Vera fight. I believe he's going to pin Mark Coleman up against the cage. I believe his intent is to wear Mark Coleman down. He may believe, and he might be true, it might be accurate that he has the more... Um, uh, endurance, he has better conditioning. So he's going to try and just wear Mark Coleman down, make him exhausted, and then beat him. 
I believe Mark Coleman's going to fight for his life. Uh, he might get a double leg takedown. He might be able to swing for the fences, just an overhand right while standing and take him down. But I believe the chances are if someone's going to get knocked out, it's going to be Couture getting knocked out, only because he, ha he has been knocked out. So my guess is Mark Coleman, out of desperation, with motivation, is going to swing for the fences and knock out Randy Couture. Sorry, uh, Randy, uh, nothing personal. I'm honored. I'm, I'm a member of your gym. Don't kick me out. Uh, so, But my prediction is he might be a little bit overconfident. Mark Coleman, knock out over Randy Couture on February the 6th at UFC 109 Relentless. And by the way, there are tons of great fights on the card here, tons of them, and I'm going to have more predictions. This is James McNeil, MentalMMA.com, your information source for the mental game of mixed martial arts. Thank you very much. Talk to you.